Now technically anything can become an alpha. The alphas I've been showing you has a high fidelity between the height in Z, which makes it incredibly bumpy. And it comes out as a 3D part that looks like it gets extruded onto the part. Those are the preferred alphas. And um, there's another alpha that is equally preferred, but it takes a little bit of managing it as far as don't get out of hand making them thing because you'll notice that there is a lot of alphas already in your alpha library and I know students that will dominate this idea and try to make a billion alphas okay they have an alpha for everything alpha for shark skin alpha for um, fish scales fish scales on a marlin fish scales on a goldfish <laughs> it goes on and on so you can have a huge alpha library but in the beginning you should kind of focus more in on the just sculpting not sculpting with alphas just yet that being said we're going to make some good alpha brushes just to play around with and give you the knowledge to be able to do that and then we're going to back up a little bit in the next video and kind of look at sculpting overall with the brushes and the alphas at hand so, that being said, let's go to the inner dent. This would make a pretty good alpha. And let me explain um, that this is a higher res image. And you can get these anywhere on the internet. I know it's a higher res image because it's 2816 by 2816. What I'm going to do is save this image as and save it onto my desktop. and just so I know what that was saved at is called texture well well in ZBrush I could take that alpha and import it and now it's mounted in here Okay, well, let's try this out. Let's uh, hit J or whatever you signed it as. Plane. And we'll switch that into this alpha. And we'll switch it over to drag rec. And there we go. We got now this cracked earth look. Okay, very cool. And if you bring down the intensity a little bit, it doesn't look half bad but the problem is if I go to stacking two of these against each other you'll see that they they don't blend well okay so I still have some prepping to do on this and the prep starts here okay we have to turn up radial fade Radial fade allows it to go like this. And now when I put two next to each other, they kind of blend. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's an egg, not a brush. Okay? And that has to do with a little bit more prep work uh, than just kind of going in here and saying okay well this is this and this is this uh, the fastest way is Photoshop okay so I'm gonna show you Photoshop in the workflow copy image file new okay edit paste alright then I take the marquee tool hold shift click and drag it and pick an area in this where it looks nice right about here I go image crop and I like this texture I'd like to keep it as a texture so I'm going to show you how to do that I can save as 
Photoshop file. Applications. ZBrush. Z Startup. Textures. And I'm going to call this Correct Rusty. Save that in there. Okay, so that'll make it so it always pops it always pops up in here. Okay? So, so once in a while you're gonna add to your texture library along with your alpha library. Now, to get it to pop in here correctly, what I want to do is just import that in. Now I can import it in several ways. One, I can just initialize ZBrush. That might do it. And I think you have to actually restart it, so I'm just going to import it. And once it's in here, I can also make it an alpha. So it's up here. And if I want to export that, I can. Okay, again, be very careful about where you put these. So alpha. I'm going to put that in there. So there's an advantage of doing it this way. And the advantages of the, is this. I now have a texture that correlates with the alpha. And they're both saved out. Okay, let's use that in a workflow. Okay. In this case, what I'm going to do is give this the ability to color it. Okay. And go to poly paint and I hit colorize. Then I'm going to go over and put the cracked rusty and the, the same one in here. And I'm going to turn the radial fall off up. You can now see that it's more like a brush rather than an egg. And I'm going to switch this material out. So this material, I'm going to choose something very basic. So here's basic material. This is the same stuff we color on. Drag rec. All right, so let's test it out. Click and drag out. And you can see along with it being sculpted, there's a, bi a hint of color here. There we go. Now, would I want to turn this into a brush? Not everything has to be turned into a brush. We only turn things into brushes if they're very complex to make. In this case, this is not a very complex brush to make. You can turn it into a brush, but uh, I would say, well, you know, it's not bad the way it is. And there we go. We've made texture on a polygon plane, and it closely matches the sculpt. You're on your way. So let's go on to the next video where we can learn a little bit more.